I'm here with uh, Dan Simon, who's an interventional radiologist here at uh, JFK Medical Center. Dan, good to see you. Thank you. Welcome. We should let folks know that we are neighbors, and I finally get to see the way you work. That's in full disclosure. So. <laughs> full disclosure. Dan, first of all, speaking of full disclosure, describe what you're wearing, because you didn't okay. have this on a few minutes ago, but this okay. is the way you work. This actually, we work um, with x-rays in real time. So this is um, protection. It's a lead apron, and this way, because I'm in it, I'm in, in exposed to radiation constantly, it's a way that I minimize my dosage of radiation. So from covering my neck, which is really protecting my thyroid, down to sort of the level of my knees. Um, everything is, is protected. Uh, usually on top of this, I'll then wear what you'll typically see a doctor in the operating room wear, which is you'll wear a sterile apron, a mask, gloves, gown, uh, sometimes goggles. Um, and uh, what, what differentiates sort of this work area from perhaps the operating room is simply the fact that in here, we're constantly visualizing our work using x-rays, and if not x-rays, then ultrasound or some other modality. It's combining imaging, which is radiology, with minimally invasive surgery, where we use the imaging to um, see inside the body, and then we take um, tools, devices, technology, which allows us to fix things, and these are small devices, and we actually go into the body, that's the interventional or invasive part, and we use the imaging to sort of follow and watch the work we do. Um, so we might fix broken bones in the spine, and we watch our work using the imaging, but the interventional part is actually placing these tools into broken bone um, and injecting cement or putting balloons in, or we might fix, or we might treat a stroke going up into the brain and removing blood clot. And again, we're fully dressed like this, and, and the imaging is the radiology piece, and the intervention um, is taking radiology or taking imaging to the next level, which brings it from just imaging to something else. And because it's constantly evolving, there isn't really one word which sort of encapsulates this field. Um, and interventional is, is actually very apropos because what we're doing today might be very different from what we're gonna be doing in three years. And certainly what we're doing today is in some ways different and more advanced than what we were doing three years ago. I'm doing new procedures. You know, we're much more aggressive about treating stroke now than we were five years ago. And more effective? And more effective, oh, absolutely. You know, I would say interventional radiologists are constantly sort of the early adopters of, of new ideas, new technology, new procedures in terms of patient care. And that's happening at JFK every Here. day. In fact, I, I would say, in fact, I know that um, years ago, we were the first in the state to treat uh, lung cancer with a type of procedure called radiofrequency ablation. What did it do? Well, what you know, impact did it make? Well, in, in the case of the first patient we did, you had a woman who had, had lung cancer, had her whole lung removed. She then developed cancer in her other lung. And everyone said there's nothing we can do for her. There's no surgery, there's no options, she's done. And um, I don't remember how she found us. I think her doctor said, well, why don't you see Dr. Simon? Because he's doing something with a, another way to treat cancer. So she came, and what we did is we took a probe, um, which we'd used in the liver to treat cancer, and we put it into the tumor in her lung using the CAT scan as a guide. So there's sort of the imaging, the radiology piece. And not a lot of people are doing this. Cert still not a lot of people are doing it, but back then, no one was doing it. We were the first in the state. Um, so we put this, this is like 2002 or 2003. We put this probe into this tumor, and the probe heats tissue, um, and it heats tissue and the heat destroys the tissue. So we put this probe into the tumor, and that's called radiofrequency ablation. And patients, now they're Googling it, and, and, and it shows up as RFA, but at the time, we put this probe into the tumor, we heated the tissue, heated the tumor to about 190 degrees Fahrenheit, almost boiling, and it kills the tumor. You know, we're 98.6 degrees. You know, if you have a fever of at 105, you're, you're incredibly high. This is 190. The tissue dies. We killed the tumor. Um, and she um, went more than five years um, in terms of survival uh, with, with her treatment. So uh, it was fantastic. She actually was in the hospital one night, went home. That was her entire treatment. Uh, and people had written this woman off in terms of what they could do for her. What, what, did, that, what did that do for you professionally? What oh, did that make you feel as a physician here at JFK? Fantastic. I mean, there is no, it is, when, when 
Um, success in any endeavor is intoxicating. Um, uh, in, in the world of medicine, um, I will tell you there is nothing like um, uh, doing good uh, for patients, for people, uh, and knowing that um, uh, your success is directly um, leading to someone's survival or improvement in their life. There's nothing like it. Dan, finally, the future here at JFK as it relates to the kind of work you're doing. How would you describe it? We offer some of the best interventional radiology in the state, um, if not the country. There's almost no procedure that's done in this world in, in, in interventional radiology that we do not offer. Um, JFK has a devotion to excellence, to quality. Um, I'll often say this. Um, we live in this world, so much of what we encounter is mediocre, whether it's your cable service, your phone service, your daily life experiences. The one place I guarantee excellence is right here. You will have nothing but a fantastic experience here at JFK and encounter excellence every step of the way from our nurses, our techs, uh, our secretaries, and the work we do. And we stand by that. We've done that for years. And we've grown this area. Every year we've, we've, we've become busier and busier.